So this is a video I never thought I was ever going to make, but I think it's needed and I think it's long overdue. I probably should have made this video last year or a couple years ago even. But uh, Mike Arnstein, Ann Osborne, and Yulia Yakontova. Most people don't, don't know her last name. Most people are not even really sure who she is because she's so behind the scenes. But Yulia is uh, one of the great minds behind the Woodstock Fruit Festival. But yeah, let's get into this video, my honest review of Mike, Ann, and Yulia. First things first, Mike Karnstein was one of the people on YouTube who I first started watching way back in the day, like 2012, 2011. So yeah, I started watching Mike probably 2011. I want to talk about mucus forming foods. Mucus in general is something that I do not experience anymore. I call my diet a fruitarian diet. Some people have called this diet the mucusless diet. Because when you just eat fruits and vegetables, you don't produce mucus. I still remember the video when he started calling himself a fruitarian. I still remember the video when he, uh, you know, launched the Woodstock Fruit Festival and said, hey, we're I'm hosting a festival. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta be there. How wonderful would it be if we had a, a place to all gather and have a festival? and just enjoy fruit and each other in a natural environment. So we decided to put together something called the Woodstock Fruit Festival. And we're going to bring together all the pioneers of a fruit-based diet and each other. Uh, I remember watching all his videos, and not just once, but twice and three times and four times. I've probably watched a few of his videos like ten times. They're just so good. And I really wish he was making YouTube videos still to this day because he's a very inspirational guy. When he speaks, people listen. He's just has this force, he has this presence about him. He's like a really, really uh, inspirational guy. I mean, I'm, I'm like super sharp though. My thinking is like electric clear. I was doing push-ups uh, when I get to the top of the mountain on each rep when I get to the top. I'd be doing push-ups at the summit. And I'd get up there and I'd jump down on the floor and I'd throw in some like real rock solid military push-ups 25 of them real real controlled but pretty quick and it was like it, it wasn't I wasn't doing push-ups on top of the mountain it was like as soon as I got down on my hands and started doing push-ups it's like the whole mountain flipped upside down and I was bench pressing <laughs> I was bench pressing the mountain that's how I felt <laughs> it's freaky freaky shit guys <sighs> this is what happens when you eat a fruitarian diet for a while Oh, some weird shit starts happening, but it's all really cool. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I've read that people say like the fruitarian diet works for a while and then, and then it doesn't work. Well, <laughs> it's working and I, I'll be honest, it, it's getting weird now that I've been doing it for a while. It's, it's getting kind of freaky. And it was his initial vision for the Woodstock Fruit Festival. It was his funding for the Woodside Fruit Festival. Every Woodside Fruit Festival, he's funded. He's taken money out of his pocket. I don't think they've made profit once, except last year. Last year was the first year they've ever made some profit, which they put right back into the festival. So all these people are saying, Woodside Fruit Festival costs too much, and Mike is just this money grab, whatever. Mike has lost thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. I'm not gonna say the exact amount. I don't even know the exact amount, but I know it's tens of thousands of dollars he's lost in the past on the festival and I mean lost because you know he paid presenters and now they're not even coming to the festival anymore they're, uh, they're just not in align alignment with the festival so Mike has had to yeah spend a lot of his own money on the festival just to get it up and running and he's had to not just spend the money but take the heat you know take the heat take the legal heat take the uh, the public image heat take hours and days and weeks and months out of his own life and dedicate to the festival to make sure it happens every year. So without Mike, there would be no Woodstock Fruit Festival. It never would have happened in the first place, and it wouldn't still be happening to this day. He's um, one of the hardest working guys I know, and extremely inspirational. If you ever get a chance to check out some of his videos, definitely do so. I'll post my favorite interview of him below in the description below. So uh, that's my review on Mike. He's he's um, a really hardworking guy. It's, uh, 
It's always fun being around him. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> very determined to get things done. He loves getting things done. And in fact, he's yeah, he's a really good businessman, man. He's a really good businessman. He just he's just so focused on on the task and he doesn't get distracted and he um, he always wants the best. He always wants the best. He he doesn't even sit down in a chair when he's on the computer. He'll stand on stand up or he'll like lean back on this little stool or whatever. He's got like six monitors there so he's always like monitoring everything. He's um He's a business tycoon man, so it's really great that he fell in love with fruit back in the day and decided to start this festival just to bring a bunch of people together and um, continue to do it year after year, year after year, year after year, despite losing money every single year. And every year, man, he said, like, you know, this is the last festival, we're done, I can't handle it anymore. Financially, I don't want to handle it anymore, and emotionally and energetically, I don't want to handle it anymore. But the Woodstock crew, they came back together, the people, the attendees said, no, we really want this, we're willing to, you know, pay right now before we even leave the festival to make sure it happens again, so they, they made it happen again and again and again. And people think like, oh, they're just, they're just creating this fake uh, public stunt saying, oh, this is the last Woodstock Fruit Festival, so you have to come this year or it's never going to happen again. That's legit. That's legit. That's not some, like, publicity stunt. They actually had to list all of the equipment that they're using at the Woodside Fruit Festival. They had to list it on eBay and Craigslist and get it all ready for sale. And then when everyone at the Woodstock came together, rallied together and said, no, we want this festival to come again next year. Here's our money now up front. They had to take all the stuff back offline and say, not for sale anymore. Sorry, we're keeping this festival going. So, yeah, that's the whole story there uh, about Mike and the Woodside Fruit Festival. And as far as Ann Osborne goes, Ann Osborne is like, she's the queen, man. Um, hello, I just wanted to talk a bit about um, mono orange juice diets. She's the queen. She's the queen of fruitarianism. Like when you think fruitarian, you think Ann Osborne. She is the real deal. I'm on day 55 of a mono orange juice diet and so I just thought I'd do a little bit of a YouTube vid just to um, share about it. Um, when I started I had no idea how long I'd be on the diet for. Um, I just thought I'll see how it goes. I've been taking it day to day. I've been really enjoying it. Mono orange juice for me is a good way to house cleanse um, but at the same time to retain energy and strength. I still feel as strong and as energetic as when I'm on a normal mixed fruit diet. She's the real deal. Her son Cappy as well, Cappy Osborne. The real deal. Got to spend a lot of time with them and it's a treat to spend time with them. Like, I think I'm busy, I think I got a lot of stuff to do. As soon as I start hanging out with Anne and Cappy, it's like, phew, doesn't matter what else I need to do. It's like, I'm right here with them. It's very easy to be present around them. And I think because they're very present around you as well. Or at least around me. But no, I've seen Anne and Cappy hang out with other people, talk with other people and very present, very empathetic towards um, anyone that they're speaking with. So Anne and her book, The Path to Paradise, greatly inspired me and still do this, still to this day inspire me. I think of Anne's stories all the time from her book. Her book is great because it's filled with stories and stories are something that you remember. You know, they say the facts tell and stories sell. Well, Anne definitely can sell with a good story and she just speaks from her experience. She's not trying to really sell you anything other than sell you on the fact that you're worth it and that fruit uh, could very well be the best food for you. And uh, her stories are great. She talks about how she's spent, you know, six months on melons, how she spent weeks on apples and pears, and how she'll, um, you know, when she's breastfeeding, she'll just do orange juice island for a bit, or how she did a one year where every other day was water, like she did a water fast every other day for an entire year. Um, so many stories she has and she's she's tried all the best fruits and uh, she's been doing the raw vegan fruitarian diet now for I think, coming up on 30 years. So she definitely has a lot of experience there. Um, and she's just a very peaceful 
sweet woman. I highly, uh, highly recommend meeting her if you get the chance to attend uh, the Woodstock Fruit Festival. She might even be at the UK Fruit Festival this coming summer, I'm not sure, but um, she's been there in the past years and it's been great hanging out with Cappy and her. And Cappy, might as well talk about him here too. He's, um, I met him when he was seven. Tiny little guy, I know he's growing up, he's got a deep voice, deep voice deeper than me probably, and he's like 13 or something, uh, and um, he loves fruit just as much as his mom, like he doesn't sway, he's not tempted by other foods, he's just like so in love with the fruitarian path, and it's really cool to see. And then there's Yulia. I want to introduce to you uh, Yulia, who's the event manager, and she'll help you with anything else that you might have questions about. Hi guys, I'm Yulia. I'm so thrilled with this project, I can't wait for the summer to come. I'm looking forward to meeting all the people whom I met online, so on the websites and the videos, to meet them in person. Yulia is behind the scenes, like I said at the start of the video. Not many people know her last name. I didn't even know her last name until recently. I had to look in an email, like, what is her last name? And, uh, I filmed the Woodstock documentary and she wasn't even in it. Like, she's, she's hard to find at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. You gotta, like, go through these hallways and corridors and then open her, knock on the door and maybe she's in her office. Um, she's usually in her office, working. And, uh, she just works and works and works and works and works and works. She barely even pops her head out. So, the whole, the Woodstock Fruit Festival documentary I filmed, like I said, she wasn't in it, but at the start of it, she's, she's such an important piece to the, to the, Woodstock success that um, even at the start of the documentary Mike is there talking and he mentions Yulia he's like I had a vision I shared it with Yulia and we ran with it so Yulia is like the pretty much the co-founder of the Woodstock Fruit Festival and she um, I don't even want to imagine how many hours she puts in coming up close to the festival um, dealing with registrations and customer support and emails and emails and emails and emails and emails like Anne and Yulia together like they'll get back to your email within 24 hours guaranteed Pretty much seven days a week. They'll get back to your email within 24 hours guaranteed Mike too man. Mike is very quick with emails. Mike will get back to your email like 12 hours If Mike doesn't get back to your email within 24 hours like he's Far away from internet or something, but um, he reads the email he gets back to it right away with like solid like solid emails that you might want to like frame on your wall or something because they're just so well written but uh yeah and mike and yulia they all have really they're all gifted with just getting back to emails very very quickly so uh yeah back to yulia she's very accommodating very helpful very insightful very wise and very experienced with fraternism as well like, i don't know how many years experience she has with fraternism but she does it really really well. She's very clean with her diet, uh, diet and uh, focuses on the high water content fruit. I think she's currently living in Hawaii. Saw her there a few times. And uh, yeah, nice woman. Nice woman that most people never get to meet because she's still so busy working. But if you get the chance to meet Yulia at uh, Woodstock this year, 2018, definitely go say hi and uh, give her a hug or ha shake her hand or something and just Say thanks. Thanks for, thanks for all the work. Thanks for dealing with all the all the people signing up and organizing everything and making sure everything runs smoothly. So that's it. That's just the video I want to make. Just give a shout out to Mike, Ann, and Yulia. Say thanks for all the work and let everyone else let you guys know how um, how they are in real life. And uh, hopefully you get a chance to meet them at the Woodside Fruit Festival. If you want to sign up for the festival, link in the description. Use the code COMFORT YOURSELF to save 100 bucks on your ticket. And that's it for this video. Peace.